Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. I hope you all are doing well out there. Well, I wanted to come before you all with yet another conference and I wanted to talk to you all about how um, these lying, deceitful, jealous hearted, disgusting um, type of people out here in the world today um, cannot stop you all as the children of God. Um, they can't even stop those of you that are not the children of God, okay? Because, see, the Lord makes his son to shine on the just and the unjust. You understand what I'm saying? Because for many of you out there that are the children of God, even when you were sinners, God still had your best, okay? Can I get a witness? And um, something had come to mind, and I wanted to elaborate a little bit about the length that a lot of these whores will go to to try to stop you all and how I want you to know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I will share this all with you. It's nothing private because I, you know, of course I'm a private person, so I wouldn't share anything private, you know, and I wouldn't expect you all to share anything private with me, um, you know, well, you could if I knew you personally because I, I, you know, I'm a very um, trustworthy person, but anyway, um, I can remember, um, that was an enemy that I had uh, back in high school. And I'm not, of course, I'm not going to mention the person's name. I'm not thinking about this tramp. But if something comes to mind, then it must be something the father wants me to speak on. And um, I can remember many, many years ago, I had gone into a um, place to apply for a job. And I had spoken to the woman in HR. And I believe she wanted to start the hiring process. But from the moment that I entered the place, I remember seeing one particular female in there that had attended the same high school as me. And me and that whore, we couldn't stand each other, okay? She was one of those hard-looking, ugly, mouthy, trouble-making, I don't know what, since who thought she was all of that and was not. But see, that's what she was surrounded by, and ugly gonna is all ugly. And so anyway, to make a long story short, I went into the storm, and you know, it's a very two-faced area that I uh, came up in. And, you know, she was just trying to engage in small talk with me, which is what those fake whores from back that way do. And, of course, I'm the type of person, if I don't like you, I don't want you in my face. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to speak to you. But, hey. And um, the lady in HR, or woman, rather, in HR was going to hire me. But then I, I think I had left and I came back. And when I came back, that woman's whole demeanor had changed. And I knew that it was because that dried up crusty whore charcoal whore that i had attended high school with i knew that she had gone in there and told that woman from hr not to hire me um i don't know what she made up i don't care what she made up but i know that she did it and that was so many years ago and i knew that tramp had did it because um that's been somebody i i i, I never liked her even in high school I, I could not stand her she's always had a sharp not a sharp mouth a smart mouth you know, I just couldn't stand her. She was just so ugly, and I, I just couldn't stand her. And um, I knew that she had gone and told that woman not to hire me. And and I don't think that's the first time that that has happened to me. There was an older woman that um, I think she had done the same thing. And so what a lot of those tramps from back that way do, they will try to uh, affect you in your employment. You know, um, even currently, if I am in a uh, particular workplace, and some whore from that area or that is affiliated with that area is there, uh, they will try to conspire with the supervisors to um, try to uh, have my position terminated or <clears throat> they will spread lies or whatever to try to have the people view me in a negative light. And I just wanted to basically just put that on blast because those are the type of trifling tramps that um, I came up around. But I said that because, you know, despite what an enemy does, um, I'm still on top, you know. And um, I feel like that the word for you all is don't worry about your enemies and don't worry about your adversaries. Because what God has for you, it is for you. And I feel like that for a lot of you, I don't feel like that Father may give you all everything at once. But I think that as you walk with Jesus. He will, you will just see little blessings made manifest. Not little blessings, but you know what I'm talking about. You'll see him do different things. And see, that's how he, I believe that's how he operates a lot of times. It's not that he goes, okay, I'm getting ready to throw all of this on you at once. Because I believe Father knows that you can't, sometimes you can't, maybe you can't handle the weight of glory. But I think that as you move along, 
father will give you this little he'll give you this he'll give you that he'll he'll and a lot of things a lot of times it's not even about material things a lot of the gifts are spiritual gifts a lot of it the gifts are just uh, enlightenment supernatural gifts just him re allowing you to see things and see certain people for who they are knowing what people are doing without even being there to watch it knowing about people and not even being there to witness whatever it is that they're dealing with you know um there, there's more to life than just you know tangible gifts from the lord but i just i don't know that just was on my mind and i just wanted to mention that because there may be those of you out there you know, you might have some enemies that think they're working in the shadows to hinder you all. And I want you to know that the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. And that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Okay? And that horse, she didn't stop anything in my life. And she definitely didn't stop me from getting another job. You know, and this was many years ago. I can't even remember how long ago. But it's been quite some time. You know. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. You know, these tramps, they just love trying to service obstacles. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know what it is about uh, them from that area. That what I don't, well, I know because the devil is a liar, but they just think there's so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm like, really? I mean, the devil really does have some people's minds. That's all I can say. But I know, um, you know, I, I, I don't like the area. I know that much. But, um in the area doesn't like me and I, I mean I sure don't care I don't lose any sleep over that I don't deal with that area but um and and it's not everybody I can't say it's everybody because uh like I said a lot of that junk has moved away they, they've either moved away or they're dead and in hell okay so let's just keep it real I mean I'm not saying nobody can't go to heaven but I mean as wicked as that area was back in the day oh my gosh you know just um it's just a very disgusting area I can remember just a lot of hatred because, you know, there were so many people that were sleeping with each other's man and, um, you know, just a lot of wickedness going on. A lot of deception, um, a lot of people fighting, physical fights, extreme jealousy, extreme envy. Especially, if, you know, for the females. If you were a female that had a little cuteness to you, good Lord, you weren't going to make it. And um, not around them booger bears. And then... Um, them booger bear females, I guess they, they thought they were fine. Maybe the dudes that looked just as bad as they did made them think they were fine, but they were all lying to each other. But anyway, and there, and there were people that just couldn't stand them. And I remember there was in a, a town right beside it, and they hated from what, the people that were in that town, and the people in that town didn't like them either. But you got to understand, um, that the, the people that I, that I um, am talking about in my conferences, as far as, you know, growing up in wick around wickedness it was just a bad bunch that was a corrupt bunch of folk oh my god and i'm not saying it was everybody no but i'm just saying it was the majority i'm just gonna tell it like it is i don't care who don't like what i got to say and uh it was just a lot of jealousy and they were just so ugh. i mean god and, and, and you i mean not god but i'm just saying they were just so the ones that's calling everybody else ugly, they were so ugly. They were butt ugly. They were not fine at all. And see, then they think by calling other people ugly that they think they're insulting somebody or making somebody feel bad. No, you can't make nobody feel bad that don't believe your lies and know it is a lie. No, these, those, the one, I'm talking about the ones that were the troublemakers, they were not attractive at all, male or female. They were not attractive. If they looked good, it was only to each other. And because it was a small, confined area, they inbred a lot. You know, they dated within, you know, their little pool of clique. But you can go probably to anybody in a surrounding town and they would tell you, oh, no, we couldn't stand those helpers from that area. I mean, who, nobody liked them. And I can remember conversating with a female that is from that area and I know she's most likely just as two-faced as the rest of them but one thing that I remember her saying she said that when she tells people where she's from she said they they go like I don't know if she said this exactly but it was like ew and she frowned her face up in disgust because she was saying that's the reaction that she gets from people that um she when i guess that they asked her where she's from and she tells them that's what that area was back in the day that you would be like ugh, you know like ugh. <laughs> funky town <laughs> you know
know what? I'm gonna tell you the truth. But you know, they're cleaning it up now, remodeling, bringing in some good people, hopefully, and uh, just a different class of people. That's a good thing because, like I said, it, it, it's sometimes it's not the physical components of an area that make it bad. It's the type of people that they have there. It's the people that they have there that are. <laughs> I'm not, you know what, I, I, I can't even say what those people were doing in that town because I don't want it on my video. But I will just say it was a very demonic, disgusting area back in the day. A lot of fighting, a lot of shooting, a lot of bullying, a lot of people making fun of people, um, sleeping with each other's men. Um, what else those hookers were doing? Uh, just lying on people trying to make people look bad, trying to ruin people's reputations. If you were the type of female who, you know, you didn't run the streets and you didn't you didn't really date, once you start dating, they start putting lies out on you. I mean, woo, those ho I'll tell you, those whores from that area. Or if you got into a, cer a certain argument or something with them, they would try to tell you your man is with another woman. and Like theirs won't with some somebody else. I mean, come on. I'm like, hook up. You can't tell me about my man when yours probably screwing other men. So let's just keep it real, okay? And it was that type of deal, you know? And they, It was just a disgusting area. And uh, I don't know. I just felt the need to come on and have a small talk with you all to just give you all a little bit of um, insight and background. To just let you know, like I said, no weapon form shall prosper. And, I, and you know, like I said, that hooker that, um, you know, told it i'm sure she told that hr woman don't hire me um I, of course i've had jobs since then you know so she didn't one monkey don't stop no show and you know and i guess the message of this particular conference is what god has for you it is for you so you don't have to worry about some monkey out there that thinks it's throwing an obstacle in your path because when a person digs one ditch they might as well dig two okay and so with that said god bless you all until next time Bye bye